Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. Today, we're going camping. It's a beautiful Friday morning here in Georgetown, New York. We're going to be heading out of town for the weekend. We should be able to get back Sunday afternoon. We're going camping at one of the state parks, probably five, five and a half hours away. As usual, guys, there's a full mods list link down below, and if you do end up enjoying today's video, please hit the like button, as it does help out with the YouTube algorithms. Well guys, we have a bit of a change of plans here because when I was planning the trip, I was thinking we could take our 2020 Ram 1500 and borrow our friend's toy hauler that's right around 30 feet here, but doing the math, we're going to be overloaded on towing capacity and we definitely don't want to be doing that for 5 plus hours going down the road here. So I looked up a few places and there was an RV rental shop here in town, so let's head on over there. It's just before 7am, they might open up at like 7.30, so... We might end up stopping at a gas station for a few snacks, but we really need to uh, get a rental so we could head out of town and enjoy our weekend. Now the summer months are winding down here, so I still want to get away here, go on some great camping trips, and I think we'll probably do maybe two, three more videos here because who doesn't like camping? It's a lot of fun here, and we do have a pretty awesome road trip in front of us here, uh, going through upstate New York, which is pretty sweet here, but I decided I'm going to be using this map a lot more here. It's a really cool American map uh, for FS19. Hopefully it comes on over to FS22. That would be pretty sweet. And if you guys are stopping by for the first time, please hit the subscribe button. We're getting so close to 100,000 subscribers. And that's a huge milestone we're going to reach pretty quickly. Oh man, the RV shop's right next to the donut shop, so if they aren't open yet, we could definitely walk on over there. I'm always a fan for a donut or two, but oh look, uh, look at this uh, RV shop here. So I did call them a few minutes ago as I was driving over here, and it looks like they're here. Hi sir, I was the one that called you about an RV rental. Oh yeah, you have one behind us? I'm planning to head out of town until Sunday afternoon, so what's going to be the rate here? So $500 a day, uh, $1,500 for three days here. That is a pretty good deal. I actually really need to get going here. I, I wanted to already leave uh, this morning, so can we do the paperwork quick? Show me around, and then we'll, I will be heading on out. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. Oh boy, guys, he made it pretty quick here for us. Now, he did do a full uh, walk around here tutorial really quickly for me. So, we do know here, but let's take a quick walk around. Looks like it's a Ford E450, which is pretty sweet here. One thing I did notice, it is BF Goodrich tires upgraded uh, from the original ones, he said. Because, funny story, he got a call uh, several times of people getting stuck. So, by upgrading the tires on this two-wheel drive camper, it really did help us on out here. But, you guys... I can see this is a sport edition pretty sweet it does have a tow hitch which is perfect for towing the toys here but guys let's hop on and let's get back to house I'm getting a roll in here, but I do want to make sure our truck is locked here. We're going to leave it here for the weekend. We just don't have enough time to have someone pick it on up here for us. But first time driving an RV, guys. This is going to be quite interesting. On top of first time driving, we have a five-hour drive ahead of us here. Oh, boy, that car just nearly uh, went right through the crosswalk with people walking there. That was uh, going to get a bit tricky there. But I'll catch you guys back. I really need to focus on driving huge blind spots. Uh, with this thing here, I definitely need to get used to this for this drive. Oh, we're turning into our street here. Luckily, we're already back because that was getting a bit tricky. Uh, these narrow New York roads are always tricky here. But you guys can see we have our 20-foot enclosed trailer. I actually was looking at it last night. I did grease the axles, things like that. Uh, so we're going to get backed up to this. And I think we're going to load in the street. There's a lot more room. And especially back in this and we have to watch the curb there. We don't want to be curb rashing the tires. And we have another curb here. Oh, boy. We need to get a bigger driveway. It seems here but guys I really do enjoy camping it's a lot of fun and I thought hey why don't we kind of change it up and rent something this time around and and the thing about renting guys we do not have the maintenance although it is 1500 we do not have to worry about taking care of it storing it or anything like that which is definitely uh, just a whole lot easier here for us but this should be a pretty good spot hopefully we don't have anybody trying to come on by because there's definitely not much room 
Just putting the tailgate down here. Looking on the inside, looks like we have the ratchets, everything, so we should be good to go. So today, guys, we are going to be bringing with us our lizard quad. The small quad is going to be pretty cool here, and I am going to be bringing our players, a ranger here. This is a sport edition. These are a ton of fun, but we could also fill it up with firewood for a nice fire tonight for s'mores, and I do also want to bring the charcoal grill. Nothing's better than a few burgers on it. That does taste pretty good. I'm going to get the trailer loaded up, grab my bags, put them in the RV with a few other things, and we should be ready to hit the road. I'm just now walking up the house here. I did make sure the stove, the oven, we're off here, but we're all loaded on up. The family's inside now, roughly, like I mentioned, five, five and a half hours. Hopefully, there's not too much traffic, but usually everybody goes away on the weekends during the summer months, and hopefully we're able to get on through that pretty early. It's right around 9 a.m., so a two-hour delay here, but we are ready to leave town. Right on next to me, guys, is a full bag of snacks here. I do have a few chocolate bars, a bag of Cheez-Its, and uh, some Doritos along with the Mountain Dew here. So I should be good for the five hours. Might have to stop a few times. And I do also probably want to double check the load here, but this is pretty cool here. Pretty long. I would probably estimate this is like a 30-foot camper along with our uh, trailer. We're probably talking 55 uh, to 60 feet all uh, said and done here. So we do want to be pretty careful. Uh, I'm going to have to get used to driving this pretty quickly here but luckily it's all going to be country back roads all the way up uh, to the state park now if you do have any cool video ideas for me please let me know down below here i really do like using your feedback here to help out these videos and you guys have been pretty awesome here but like i mentioned we are getting so close to 100,000 subscribers i can't wait for that milestone and we're getting closer and closer by the day Alright guys, we're turning into our last asphalt road here. After this, it's all going to be dirt roads, which I will say hopefully we don't end up getting stuck here. Usually with these rentals, uh, people just end up getting them stuck here. But those BF Goodrich tires should help us on out. And I think that I'm pretty good at driving uh, trucks and things like that here. But it's so cool uh, to be able to go camping here and farm some. Hopefully, uh, we could get a lot of cool mods over to the new game pretty quickly. But I still plan, like I mentioned, probably to... to one or two more camping videos before uh, the summer is over but many of us are going back to school within the next month month and a half uh, so we got to enjoy these last uh, days of summer now I did have to stop a few times here for a few I think we're already at like $200 worth of fuel and looking at it guys we're only going about uh, four miles per gallon here but there we have it guys they said the red house was right across the streets so we have arrived here at the dirt trails this is going to be a bit tricky this is a pretty sharp turn to get on in we don't want to be scraping the paint on that guardrail wow that was pretty good here now I think we're going to definitely try to get a little bit of momentum uh, to get this thing rolling is going to be a bit tricky Especially if the roads are uh, not uh, compact. That probably isn't going to help us on out taking a few bushes there to the front. This is going to be a bit tricky navigating these roads. Like I mentioned, this camping trip was for just a weekend here. I thought five hours would be a pretty good one here for us, but hopefully we could go on some bigger trips, maybe a full week long. Uh, that would be a lot of fun here. Maybe we could get a few buddies in game uh, to go camping and just overall have a great time here. But you guys can see going right around 15 miles per hour on these dirt roads is a bit tricky here. We are getting quite a bit of sway uh, back and forth here, so we want to make sure we don't end up uh, rolling over here. I don't think we will unless we go pretty fast on one of these turns. Well, guys, we're coming up on our camping spot here. It's right here to our right-hand side. I reserved this. I think this was right around uh, $250 for the weekend, which I thought was a pretty fair deal here. So what I'm going to do is, all right, guys, I'm going to get the trailer unloaded, get it disconnected, and then I do have to work on the RV here. We do need to get the slide outs, get the steps, get the stabilizers. There's so many parts and pieces that need to get set up. We got the trailer unloaded and detached here. Let's probably put the grill here. I think I'm going to get a few chairs out and this will be a great sitting area at night here. I'm not sure about how buggy it will be uh, since we did get some rain the last few days here. But you guys can see I got the trailer disconnected. I only pulled it forward a few feet. That way it's uh, going to be pretty easy to get loaded on up here. But one thing, let's hop back on and let's see if we get this folded on out. You guys can see we got the canopy and those uh, slide outs which is pretty cool here. Up next. 
I do want to go around. There's four stabilizers on every single corner, really helping us out. And one thing I did notice, guys, look at that. There's a few rollers down below, which I will say is really helpful here. That way you uh, don't end up scraping the bottom of the RV. Almost an hour later, guys, we're all set on up here. That took a little bit of time here. I also got out uh, this small thing here, which uh, we could actually get a campfire going here. So we actually need to go get some more wood. So I think, hey, why don't we hop on the players here? There is a lot of trees around. Hopefully, we'll be able to just find kind of an old, old small tree that we could get cut on down. And this, like I mentioned, guys, this thing is so much fun to rip around. You guys can see uh, it is so cool here. Upstate uh, New York is so beautiful and so cool that we can uh, go camping here as well but I do see a lot of trees here I'm just looking in the woods uh, seeing if there is any small trees we could cut down all right, guys, I think I found one here. This is a pretty small one. This only looks to be right around uh, 10, 15 feet high, and the bark is pretty old here on it. So we'll cut this down, and if there is any more, we might end up putting it on the side of the road. That way other people could grab any wood. Guys, I'm thinking it was probably just a lot easier to buy a firewood bundle from the store for $8, $10 here. Doing all this work is taking a lot of time here, but we got a few pieces loaded on up here. Hey, that actually worked out quite well here. I'm not sure if the Polaris is fully functioning with uh, the uh, collisions and things like that here, but I'll catch you guys uh, back down there at the campsite. All right, we got enough firewood here to last us the night. So what I'm thinking now is why don't we hop on the quad and go have some fun here. Now this quad here is so much fun. It's so fast and we should be able to maybe uh, get uh, some jumps here. But you guys can see it's pretty hilly. Lots of mountains, which is pretty sweet here. Now, like usual, and like I mentioned, guys, there's a full mods. that's linked down below as well. You guys can download all the mods, which are public, and do what I do in Farm Sim, which is a pretty sweet thing here but today guys this camping trip was a lot of fun and we're only getting started since we have all weekend long I've been out riding for two hours here looking at my fuel gauge guys it looks like we're almost on empty here so we should get on back here to the campsite and I think that's probably a good sign that we should call it a night here because it was a lot of fun I actually saw a few other people ripping around on dirt bikes uh, maybe they'll come on by here and we can have a great time but hope you guys enjoyed today's camping trip it was a ton of fun a small five hour road trip and a full week long at camping ahead of us but until next time thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.